I'm just going to ask you yes, to stay in. Hello everyone, I am Demi. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my working experiences as a student assistant in Germany at a German university. Or so to say, I work at my own university as a student assistant and I also study there. So it has been almost a year, like uh, 11 months that I uh, have worked at my own uni and actually my contract i have i got another contract but then due to my um, practicum that i have to move to leipzig as you know from my last video i didn't have to cancel my contract so my job position was a student assistant and i have i have worked at three different departments so far at my own uni uh, the first department is the language the center second one is a study center and the third one is a alumni and internship abroad department so first of all i'm going just to tell you briefly of what i did at those departments and then i'm going to go to the important points such as bureaucracy uh, payment and the communication all right um, so at the department of language or language center I have to, it was last summer semester last year, so I had to, um, you know, taking care of the students, like picking them up from, uh, from a train station, accompany them to their home, and then uh, accompany them to register for their room, and apply for visa, you know, all the bureaucracy stuff that you need to do when you're um, applying as a student to study here in Germany and uh, many more than that I, I did a lot um, I also did some uh, you know photo collage uh, some Photoshop and some um, ID I also taking ID photos of them so yeah um, different tasks different kind of tasks that I did then I finished my contract with the language center it was for a semester then I got another uh, job at the study center uh, which wasn't really stressful at all you just have to you know that was the period where where the winter semester begins so the student you know they come they come to pick up their ID card and to pick up their documents back you know the document that they have uh, sent to the school during the application now they get it back and I am the one I was the one to just you know give them the document and check with the um, it's their document and it's their ID card and make sure everything's alright before giving them all the documents. And the last department which I just finished this February, um, it was alumni and internship abroad. Um, what I uh, mostly do was just, you know, um, taking care of the internship archive of the university. So I have to, you know, um, I would get like a photocopies of many different uh, offers of internship then I have to summarize them and then uh, type it in the program and uh, put it on the archive so that's uh, most of the things that I have to do like I think 98% of the time and then the other stuff I just I did want catering because they need some help and then I also did taking care of the you know like the photo list something like that so um, but mainly I did the uh, internship archive um, yeah so now let's move to three big points the bureaucracy payment and uh, communication so the so the first one is bureaucracy um, I got quite surprised when I first got my contract it was so thick it was this thick and as you see in the uh, video and um, it's just a contract alone, so you have to give almost every information that you have for the contract, your personal information, of course, your bank, and then your job experiences before, within 12 months, something like that. So it's a lot of things to, you know, to fill it in. And most of the time, there are things that you don't know, like, uh, like which class of taxes do you have? They have like first, second, third, something like that. But I didn't know because I'm not really sure what kind of Texas class I have right now because 
I have also worked before blah 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 so it's very complicated so I most of the time I just leave it empty and uh, the one who is responsible for the contract will just fill it for you so yeah just a reminder that the contract could get complicated sometimes or too complicated you know I remember my first contract uh, at the university I worked as a like barkeeper at a Christmas party and then that time I also have to declare that I have nothing to do with the IS group in order to be able to work at the university so it's quite you know there's a, a lot of process going on and I think the last one the at the, the, my contract for the department of uh, um, alumni and internship abroad I had to like swear to God even I am not a, a Christian to have like this swearing phrases to God that my information are given correctly something like that so it was crazy you know I understand about the IS group that someone could be a hidden IS one of the member of IS group somehow or support them but this wearing thing I am not really I don't just don't get it because we're living in a very modern world and you know like you have to swear somehow that your information are given correctly so and I, I am not even you know I am Buddhist so I, I don't have anything to do with the religion that they have here and uh, I have also I also have to swear and sign my name so it's I, I find it a bit strange and absurd but that's just it that's just, just I wanna it's what I wanna share with you <laughs> that it could go crazy it could go very unexpected um, and yeah it's so funny the most important thing second thing payment or salary um, I would say it's a pretty good deal to someone who hasn't got any degree yet even the German they say it's a very very good paid job and uh, for someone like me who hasn't got any degree yet it is really well paid and you, and you cannot complain about it because it's really good paid and um, I couldn't tell you exactly how much I earn but just know that it's a lot for someone who doesn't have any degree yet and it is also way more higher than the minimum wage here in Germany so that's that's just the hints that I'm giving you now but more than that I won't the third thing is communication you know the things that I love working in Germany uh, in general or working with German people that they are quite direct and it's easy to communicate because you don't have to hide things if you find some things not right or awful you can just tell your boss or you know have an idea have your own opinions and not just shut up and uh, because you are a employees and you have to respect your boss and that's not the case here in Germany so that's why I love working with German people if some of you think that I have to do you know like assistant in like making coffee for them or anything like that no it didn't happen not at all you know they if they need something they just do it themselves i just do the tasks that are written in the contract and that's it though there's no exploitation nothing and the most important thing that i said that you can really rely on them and be direct to them when you find something not right and um yeah and the, the communication always goes well for me I wouldn't dare talking to any my boss the way I talk to my German boss so no way because German they're quite open to your opinion they're, they're there to hear you and even if it's a complaination or anything like that they're always there to hear you and you can always be direct to them they don't mind that it's just their culture and that's what I love about it because I am a very honest and direct person if I find something absurd, if I find something not right, strange I would just tell them directly like my honest opinion but if you're not the kind of honest person you might find it a bit hard to work with German people and being direct doesn't mean that you don't respect your boss but you just have your own opinions too which you want to share and that's it that this has nothing to do with impoliteness at all all of my bosses hadn't made me feel small or sh like showing their power that they have the power on me and use me or uh, ask me for a favor to do this and to do that because they're a boss 
they did not do that. So um, that's what that's what I like working with German people. So we're coming to the end of this video. If you have any questions regarding working in Germany, which I am capable of answering and which I also know of, um, I could help you um, answer that. And besides, please subscribe, like, and share because I would be uh, appreciated so much. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.